Oh, so we've got the uh, eFlex 75 by 300 digital microscope. USB with a photo button on the back with a control for the LED light dim it, brighten it and then you have this one here for your focus a little sucky cup holder for it So once you get it, you go onto the website and you can download some software for it, otherwise it will still work straight off the camera. This one here is Windows XP and we've got the software here. So this one here you want to open. connect it and use this one to do videoing, recording, photos, time-lapse photos. So it's all set up. You control your brightness. Turn up the computer. photo okay so I've got a couple of magnifying glasses there and if you look at this coin there's a coin under there if you look here we can see little crack or a scratch even with the magnifying glass you cannot see those Okay, I'm zoomed in on this chip here, which with my eyes I can't even see those wires. But you can see them clearly on here. So I'm just gonna go through the board and see if can see anything wrong. Now this chip here has a ton of little wires on it. So there's just there's just no fixing any of that. All the glare is because of the uh, jowl that's on the coating it. Okay I've just got a toothpick which I'm using magnifying glass to just check to see if any of these are broken. <laughs> these little wires down here, I can barely see these little wires, even with a magnifying glass. So any one of those could be broken. Any one of those could be broken, and that's just on one microchip.
think we need to clean this gel off. Somehow we need to clean this gel off because it's disturbing the picture. Any one of these tiny little wires, look how tiny they are. There's just no fixing any of those. Absolutely no way to fix them. These are all ultrasonic soldered, done by a CNC controlled machine. Your hand's just not steady enough. 